Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're looking forward to this as always and today we're going to be talking about Red Umbrella. Recently Capcom announced that there is now two umbrellas. There's the Red Umbrella of old and the Blue Umbrella of new. If anybody here has not watched Red Up or educated themselves about Blue Umbrella, I'll give a quick synopsis here. Blue Umbrella is basically a company formed under new leadership. Chris Redfield seems to be associated with the organization as well and all of its staff are completely replaced. So it looks like Red Umbrella has little association with Blue Umbrella. Blue Umbrella uses all of Wesker's research that he stole from Umbrella to gain insight into BOW fighting techniques, weapons and research. This new blue umbrella definitely seems to be the good guys, however we have the new DLC for Resident Evil 7 which is promptly titled Not A Hero. Now if he's not a hero but he's working for a good company, how does that make sense? But we also have the fact that Umbrella is a nefarious company of the past. Is it really believable now that they suddenly would have been reformed even under a new staff or a great goal? Why even use their name? I feel I feel like there's something sinister at heart here after all. And I'd like to talk about this in particular. So the first point I will bring up is obviously we have the helicopter from the Resident Evil 7 demo. Now for those of you who will remember, the demo protagonist was not Ethan, it was some unnamed protagonist. We saw many clues in the demo leading up to the main game that gave us some foreshadowing and hints as to what to expect. But then we saw that photo with the traditional umbrella logo on the helicopter and this was quite surprising to see. See, they said the game was going to be very disconnected from the previous Resident Evils, but here in this photo they slapped on an umbrella logo. Now remember guys, it also said, are they watching us on the back of the photo? And I believe that Red Umbrella is still around doing lots of observations, or maybe this is another sect of Blue Umbrella that is to do with initial scouting, recon and research purposes, and the other emblem is used for the combat team. There's a lot of things to take into account here, but also, the developers could have just been throwing a little bit of foreshadowing in and maybe this isn't even a real canon thing. All in all, a lot of people are under the presumption the new blue umbrella is going to be one of the good guys. But I believe based on the information we have here, there is something more sinister as I said. I believe there is still some form of red umbrella that has a close tie to the organization and maybe that is linked into the Not A Hero DLC and why Chris is not a hero. Or maybe that Not A Hero title is just something to do with Chris's past and history with Piers, with him losing a lot of BSAA soldiers and overall just having a traumatic experience as he tries to survive the world. But the fact that some recon helicopter was scouting the Bakers out for years, regardless of whether Chris knew about it or whether he didn't, that just like I said, it leads me to believe there is some kind of nefarious purpose here, that Blue Umbrella isn't exactly doing the most legal things or following the new restrictions and jurisdiction and goal they have been given. If you think about it, it looks almost as if they're continuing the research from the HCF that Wesker's group did on Evelyn to gain a better idea of how their experiments over time have evolved and how they are still going. It's not like they just wanted to go in and extract or kill Evelyn from the bad, they actually wanted survivors I guess, which to me I make the assumption they want more test subjects to screw around with. Now what is Blue Umbrella's end goal exactly and who is the official leader of the entire company? These are some facts that are very very important and I really do hope that we get some answers for them in the Not A Hero DLC as having to wait for Resident Evil 8 or some other spin off like Revelations would be absolutely mind numbing for me. I think everybody can agree with that. Blue Umbrella is now a very mysterious organization and if they have any active links back to Red Umbrella still and maybe Red Umbrella is still around in some form or it's making a resurgence now, we're unsure. But 
a lot of us are looking forward to finding out. I hope you've enjoyed this video anyway, I just wanted to talk over the new blue umbrella. I wanted to go back to the photo again as a lot of people forgot about that photo with the are they watching us on it. And just generally, I wanted to discuss Resident Evil as I have been missing out on this and I know the Not A Hero DLC got delayed, so this is the best thing we can do to fill the time for now. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video as always. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and a subscribe as always. Take it easy, have a beautiful day, and peace.